16 minutes after the hour, ladies and gentlemen, we tried to make up with Mayor Barton. It did not work, but Mayor, good morning to you. Good morning, you. sir. Glad to see you uh, stirring about this morning. I'm glad I can be seen. Yeah, I'll tell <laughs> you. And uh, two black eyes and beaten. We're going to talk about that in just a couple of minutes, but some really good news coming with some arrest in Talladega yesterday. Absolutely. I'm proud for, our, for the Garrett family, Marshall Garrett. I'm Marshall Poe, I'm sorry. And... Uh, our police department done a great job on yeah. this case. And uh, violent crime task force involved in the arrest, too. And uh, the two murder cases uh, that happened in Talladega within, I guess, about two months of each other. So we're glad for that and appreciate all the hard work that's done up there. Uh, we're talking with Talladega Mayor Larry Barton, and we want to go back uh, uh, to uh, it'll be a week ago tomorrow. Right. Uh, Saturday morning, you were headed to, as you've done many, many times, to work uh, at the barbershop over in the Cahaba Heights area, is that right? And uh, uh, little did you, did you know that your Saturday morning, I mean, you're expecting to cut hair. You're not expecting to be beaten with a ball bat. Tell us a little bit about what went on. We uh, drove up to Cahaba Heights. I've been working there part-time for, uh, I don't know, sometime, maybe I'm out of work in Tyler, but uh, working out... Uh, Cobble High's part-time, been knowing the folks a long time. And I went over on Saturday morning to help them out. And uh, as I started opening my door, there was this guy with a, a cloak on and, and a head covered up. And he, he jerked the door open, and, and I'm holding on to it. And saw the halfway get out, and he has a stick bat, or what looks like a sawed-off bat about that long. And he started beating me in the head and in the face. Did he say anything to you? Never, never, not at that time. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I couldn't get out. He, he was holding the door just enough that I couldn't get out and get any any leverage. And he kept beating me on top of the head. And, of course, as you can see, my face and using his fist, had the stick in the left hand and using his fist with his right hand. Yeah. And uh, eventually uh, I, I got to the point that I could get out enough that uh, I kicked him between the legs. I'm not going to mm -hmm. tell you where I kicked him, but I kicked mm -hmm. him pretty hard twice. Mm -hmm. And he was holding on to me at that time, and, and we fell on the ground. And uh, that's about all I remember from there. Uh, well, it was evident, Mayor, that the suspect, who uh, a longtime friend of yours, worked with you in radio and television. On a TV show here. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it was obvious that the suspect uh, who was charged with first-degree assault was uh, trying to maim you and possibly just kill you. I think so. He, uh, after, like I said, after I fell on the ground, he was there, too. We, we both fell on the ground. And that's about all I remember from there. And there were some folks across the street from the barbershop, and uh, I was I was telling them, go call the police, call the police right quick. And uh, apparently they did, because the police eventually came around where I was and said, do you know who hit you? I said, yeah, Benny Green. And uh, he said, well, that's who we got on the ground over here. He tried to flee from, he was on a bicycle. And he tried to get Is away. it true that supposedly he had, he had ridden Irondale. a bicycle from Irondale to Cahaba? That's a long haul. It, it, what, 15 miles right. or better? And, and he's uh, what, 70? 70... 71. Wow. And he said that uh, the people across the street, fortunately, had come across the street when he saw him trying to leave and apprehended him or held him till the police could get mm -hmm. there. Wow. Tyler Duggan Mayor Larry Barton joins us this morning. And uh, Larry, home from the hospital just a couple of days ago, and you actually went against the doctor's wishes for you to remain under their care. Yeah, I tried to get out last Sunday to do my program TV show here at the station. We've never missed a program since we've been on the air. And of course, I broke my record, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, they wanted me to stay in a little longer, and, and I can't thank them enough. I had great care. It was, uh, I probably would have been better off stay two or three days, except my wife been right there with me, my, my granddaughter. H has uh, Mayor, now that you know, you're home from the hospital, and uh, after the severe beating at the hands of the suspect, uh, you've had time to think about this more clearly. Does it make you angry that, that this has happened to you? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I should be angry. Uh, but knowing Benny, as long as I have, I recognize the fact he's got a drug problem and a serious gambling problem. Of course, he's going through a divorce, and we've been asked by her attorney, Charlotte's attorney, to, to let him handle it in court mm -hmm. and not do anything or say anything that would cause a problem for them. And uh, 
a lot of people are trying to make it be a sex thing. It's not mm-hmm. a sex thing. Mm-hmm. It's a money thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's trying to take everything she's got in this divorce. And this is the third time he's filed for divorce. Why would he attack a long-time friend? Can't figure uh, that out. That you, you've helped him a lot of times. Yeah. He's helped you, I'm sure. But uh, why do you think he'd do that? I don't know. We, uh, I hadn't talked to him. Been in been several weeks, I guess. No, never been a word mentioned about uh, any any, any mm-hmm. uh, indication that he had any idea mm-hmm. that anything was going on, which mm-hmm. is odd. But uh, I don't know. Uh, Benny does some strange things. Yeah. If you remember several years ago at Munford, when they had that guy held up in a house, mm-hmm. that hostage thing, Benny and Charlotte was coming from Anderson. And, and Benny always carries a gun with him. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me. But uh, we got to Munford, and he realized it was a hostage situation or whatever it was. He jumps out and gonna gonna take care of the police for him. Mm-hmm. Well, he gets popped. The guy pops him. So it's um, he's a cowboy, I guess. He's a coward, what he is. Yeah. Anybody has to put on a trench coat and a hat to cover their identity mm. has to be a cowboy. Has to be a coward. I guess it goes without saying. Uh, you were in fear that that you would be able to get him off of you and and to survive. Uh, yeah. What is obviously a horrific beating. Had I not been able to get completely on up and get to the edge of the, I mean, get out of the door, he'd probably beat me to death there in the mm-hmm. car. There's blood all over the car. and Of course, I'm soaked in blood. And, and uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, had I not been able to get out, I guess the good Lord was halfway with me anyway, not the whole way. Yeah. But uh, I, I could have I've been killed, no, no question about it. And, and I guess when we fell on the ground, I don't know me hitting him between the legs, I guess maybe uh, subdued him a little bit. I don't know. Uh, an oddity to this, uh, <clears throat> two and a half weeks or so away from the city elections and yeah. your re-election uh, candidates for mayor. A lot of people are saying this is directly connected with the, the election. I, I, I don't want to think that's the case. Uh, he you, know, is, bo- you know both men that's running against you. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he is a personal friend of one of the opponents, he and his uh, family. And uh, but I don't think that the opponent's got anything to do with this. Mm-hmm. Now Benny may have had it in his mind to help the opponent without his knowledge. Mm-hmm. But uh, a lot of people say, "Well, you know, is this going to hurt you?" I don't know. Uh, friends are friends through thick and thin. Mm-hmm. And uh, my phone has not stopped ringing in the last well since it happened. I received flowers from well wishers yesterday. I've had uh, very influential people contact me say anything we can do, anything we can do to help you. So it's not affected the phone calls coming mm-hmm. in. Well, and there's, there's a few distractors out there that always is during yeah, the campaign. Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe that this is the first full-length live uh, uh, interview you've done television-wise. Uh, I know you've had clips and stuff like that, but a sit-down interview with Talladega Mayor Larry Barton. We appreciate him joining us in, in what has been a, a horrible week and uh, on one side of the coin, but you're blessed to be alive. No question about it. Very thankful. How, how is it, uh, you know, family is always affected by something like this. I know it's... Uh, it's uh, whether you want to come right out and say it or not, it's, it's affected your family. It has. Of course, uh, Mayor and I have been together 59 years, and there's not a whole lot that we've not seen or done. Uh, it's, uh, I, I tell people it's not our first horse ride. It's, uh, it's amazing that it, it, things come up week, two weeks before election to try to throw. If you remember four years ago, uh, I had folks that said, hey, if, if, if the convict gets elected, uh, the city will fold up. won't be anything going mm-hmm. on. won't get any federal money. We've had four good years, four of the best years the city's had in many, many years. We've gotten more federal money in the last four years, businesses opening and expanding, top trails, the CMP, so much going on in Tyler. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, you know, of course, I hope this doesn't affect the election, but if it does, people have a right to vote like they want mm-hmm. to. My two opponents, uh, they're good people, but they wouldn't have a clue who to contact at the college, at the institute, at, to, to be involved in the community happens. They've never yeah. never done this before. Yeah. So uh, do you do you want an unknown mm-hmm. to represent the city, or do you want someone that's been yeah. there? And- Talladega Mayor Larry Barton, our guest this morning. Barton suffered a beating at the <coughs> end. Uh, longtime friend and cohort, uh, co-host of the In the Interest of the People radio and television show, which has aired on this station for uh, many years. 
uh, Mr. Benny Green, and I understand that Mr. Green has uh, bonded out of Jefferson County Jail. We found out yesterday that his uh, stepbrother mm -hmm. uh, had bonded him out. $150,000 bond. I don't know where he put up property or where he put up. $150,000 bond, that's, that's pretty steep. Pretty serious. Yeah. I mean, that lets people know this yeah. is a serious situation. Yeah. Uh, does it bother you, Mayor, that there is a segment of people in Talladega County, in the city of Talladega, that don't believe you, don't believe you, don't believe in Larry Barton. I guess I should be concerned about it, but but Jim and Neil, God could come down here and say they ain't a word of truth and all this junk. Maybe some folks that still say, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe God. So you can't you can't counteract rumors. Uh, that's the negative, I guess, of politics. You can tell anything you want to, and uh, a lot of stuff on posting on Facebook has nothing to do with the case, but it just gives them a chance to, to run yeah. their mouth a little bit. So what's you, the your next? True, your true friends know you and they yeah. stick with you. What's the next with your health? I know that uh, they're expecting a full recovery, and right. and obviously this morning, this is the after effects of the beating, but where are we health-wise? Good. Well, I, I, there's no broken bones. They did all the x-rays, MRIs, and everything. Uh, I did up my legs, and, and uh, there's, no, there's no broken bones, mm -hmm. no permanent damage. Uh, he, he hit me in the throat and grabbed me in the throat um, pretty hard, and it just got me a little hoarse. That's the only way they can keep yeah. you from talking. I man. guess so. <laughs> but it's not slowed me down too much. <laughs> um, but I appreciate all the friends, Jimmy. It's called, and of course, uh, I love Tyler Lake. If I didn't want to put up with this garbage, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be here, good, bad, or indifferent, we'll be here. We want the people to vote for us if they see fit. But if they choose someone else, and I'll still yeah. be entirely. Uh, you've been down a lot of roads uh, in your lifetime. Uh, you, you served how many years? Thirty-seven and a half months. Okay, and uh, prison, and uh, wrote uh, three at books. least one book. How three, many? Three. three. And uh, uh, Larry Barton, uh, Talladega mayor, who was uh, elected last term, and uh, you'd been mayor before. If I've been four terms, if if I get elected this time, uh, we'll make history in Tyler. It'll be the f fifth mm -hmm. term, mm -hmm. and no other mayor has ever been elected five how's, times. How's local leadership responded uh, to this it, incident? It's amazing at the, the calls I'm getting from the leaders in the community. Mm -hmm. Wonder what can we do? I think when they realize and see what's going on, a lot of people know Benny from through the years, yeah. and uh, there it's amazing. People say we were not surprised. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I should be surprised, but knowing the situation and knowing the history of, of Benny, I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Uh, but if he'd have had a complaint with me or if he'd have had a concern, uh, he ought to come to me as one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, what about this? You know, I'd, I'd addressed it. Yeah. But no, he, he has to pull. He, he intended to do whatever he was going to do and then try to get away with mm -hmm. it. Cloak and dagger and bicycle. And, uh, does how how do you feel about the the accusation? I know that uh, uh, the attorneys have asked you not or instructed not to talk about this a whole lot, and and if I'm going down the wrong road, you can you can go another one. Uh, but how does it feel for a accusation of a uh, a sex tape to be out there? Here you are, what seventy one years old? Years old. Yeah. I guess I should be honored. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know, there's always kind of rumors and laughs about anything, but uh, we, they need to talk to my wife and uh, get her opinion on this. I mean, what do you do? I mean, nothing. You, you know. can't. You can't. It's just like someone, uh, uh, Jimmy Dale, if every preacher, every school teacher, every politician uh, was, was had to resign over accusations, mm -hmm. might not be anybody around to run the, the schools and yeah. the government and the churches. Yeah. You can't outrun rumors. It's. Uh, People are vicious. They jump on the back. Had one lady on Facebook uh, made some accusations. Uh, I fired her daddy during one of my terms. Fired him three times, but he wouldn't stay fired. He was there when I got beat the last time, and she's making some accusations. Not a word of truth in it. It just just jumps on the bandwagon. It's uh, you can't you can't counteract rumors. Uh, you you and uh, Mary have been. Married for what? 50, 59, 59 years. 59 years. If it lasts till December. And and uh, e even though you know her and she knows you as well as y'all do, uh, that's got to make you feel for what she hears. Makes me feel for her more yeah. than I'm concerned. Yeah. You know, I know what the truth is. Yeah. And she does too. But uh, any, when I went to prison, it's the family that suffers, mm -hmm. not the individual mm -hmm. person. Finally, 
talk to the people. A number of people live in Talladega watching the show this morning and uh, those in Silicon and children bring across the state of Alabama who are tuned in this morning. Uh, talk to the people. I know there's a lot of people that's been supportive of you and you've gotten a lot of feedback from people, but uh, take a couple of moments if you would, if you want to thank the people or, uh, you know, there are some people that you'd probably like to chastise too, but uh, uh, that's for another day. Jimmy Dale, first of all, let me thank you for having me on the program. Uh, I love Tyler Liga, I love the people. If I didn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep throwing myself out in politics and taking this abuse. But we've had four good years. We've had a lot of good years as mayor of the Talladega. We've had four good years. Had a good administration, worked together good, city manager. And uh, we, we look forward to working four more years for the citizens of Talladega, if, if, if you see fit to keep me. It's, uh, I knew I had a lot of friends, but I did not realize, I don't think, the outpouring of support uh, since this has happened. Mm. And that makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the final finale will be on July, the, I mean, uh, August the 25th. Do you want me to continue being your mayor? And, and leading the city, or do you want to change courses? That's, that's certainly this. This is not a a, a political advertisement for no. Larry Barton. We'll certainly invite uh, the two other candidates to to be on this broadcast as well. But we wanted to talk about uh, how your health was, and and uh, you're you're seeking uh, uh, going down the legal avenues for prosecution on this. No question. I went over yesterday to Birmingham. They wanted me to come over and and give a DNA and, and make sure that all the blood that's on Benny, uh, everything is, is mm -hmm. off of me. Mm -hmm. Of course, they already had most of that stuff, but they just wanted to make sure that everything was like it's supposed to be. So I went over yesterday and gave them a sample of my blood, saliva and so forth and so on. And it's, uh, uh, they're very, they were very concerned. Yeah. Well, uh, get well. Good luck in the campaign or, or wherever your travels may be. Uh, for you and your family, we thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Sunday night, you'll be. I will be here Sunday night. Right. There's something other jumps the track. Seven o'clock. I've got several Kansas guests too. Oh yeah, you want to mention any Can, of them? Got. It... Uh, I get in trouble when I start remembering off uh, off the cuff. Uh, but we've got. I believe it's Miss McGee will be here, and uh, the lady that's running. Uh, I apologize, the name slipped my mind right now. Running for school board in District Five. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, two or three guests to be here. And we hadn't even talked about the school board. That'll be something they address. Uh, <laughs> we'll Sunday talk about night. that Sunday night. That's yeah. been a hot topic as well. Talladega Mayor Larry Barton, our guest on Daybreak this morning. We've got more coming up right after this.